you what are your opinions about this game, Tom? Uh, especially this Jaden against Mitch. What do you reckon is happening style-wise? I'm not going to say a prediction, but style-wise. Uh, firstly, I really rate Jaden. I think he's one of the best players in Xbox. See him attacking here down the right. Goes to that early cross. Whipped in, headed down. I think that's just on side as well. Cole Palmer. Yes. We're seeing now how Brighton is able to build up well, but I think the press is what's on point at the moment, especially because Mitch is really good keeping the possession. But yeah, you talk about Jaden. What are your opinions about Mitch in this, this stage of the game? Yeah, Mitch, someone always plays really well at E-Prem. I played with him for England. Oh! I uh, played with him for years. He's someone that likes to keep the ball, keep it on the floor, hold a lot of possession and really think about his chances. But I think that right there is how people have changed their gameplay. I mean, I spoke to all of the players, you know, even speaking to Tex and what he said about defenders, that he's not bothered about their stats anymore. It's all about can you win the ball yeah. in the air. <laughs> Simple as that. It's kind of like a height test or a jump test before you play the game. Uh, yeah, that wouldn't come that yeah. figured out. I think last year, I lost in the final 3-0. Like I went into the final 3-0 down. Okay. So yeah. I said I never want to be playing yeah. second again. I want every game first. Yesterday I came in second against Newcastle, very nervy. And then when I played Knicks there, I just felt free. I, yeah. felt I could do what I want all night. Nice. Great play. Quick snappy passing. Jaden oh. couldn't find. And, you know, I think we know him as the swashbuckling skills and the rainbow flicks, but as the game's adapted and everyone's improved, he, he's kept up with that as well. And he's, you know, with the play style he's having now being slightly different. It's just, yeah, what I'd call experience. We're seeing this build up in the play to a pin. Possible cross to Haaland. Yeah. Passes it to Hullet, who decides to shoot. The play style plus. Yeah, and okay. Catches people off guard because you don't know whether they can cancel it. Some people are waiting for a cancel. You can just shoot. And it's, it's what under, I did it's yesterday. It's extremely underrated. It worked well, yeah. yeah. When you talk about them player lock in defence, I spent a whole game before I started then uh, in Walmart just practicing that, so yeah. Lyrics was sending the ball long, like to play a lock every time. There is so many mechanics he's in here. He's onside. In behind here, an awful offside trap, keeper saves it. It's gone so far the way he would have liked. He's kept a lot of possession, he's created a lot of chances. He's nullified Kai to, to barely any opportunity to score. He could have this last attack here, play down into Rude Hullet. Edge of the box for next shot, green time, it was blocked there. No and chance, De Bruyne. Look. Wow, that player lock has been amazing and effective, both things. Yeah, Those they would have had goals. experience playing against each other as well. Do you find that hard, Tom? Do you find it more difficult playing against players you've already played? You technically would know a lot of their, their tendencies, but would you find it harder to play against the unknown quantities? Let's say Luton, for example, hold on a second. Power oh! Oh! On, Into the... He's keeping it in the corner, game management. And again, one last minute, one last chance. Forward. He has to go forward. One minute of added time for Wolves to try and find a goal. He, he has to go forward here. The player lock into Haaland. Played wide here. Human Son in possession. Oh. Couldn't find a way through. It's a mistake. Son wins it again. Played outside oh. the box. 